In this video, I'll show you how to add a cold snippet to WordPress in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So this video is based on this particular article. So if you want to read the article version instead, I'll leave the link in the description below. And then we'll just work through the steps of how to actually add code following these different methods, right? So the first method we'll be using is using a WordPress plugin, right? To add our code. Personally, I recommend using this method because it's a quick and simple way to manage all the custom codes that you might want to add it to your site, right? So all we'll do is we'll just head over to our WordPress dashboard and then we'll just search for code there's a few different ones okay so you can choose whichever one you want so let's head over to our dashboard let's go plugins and then let's go add new plugin and then we can just search for code okay and here we've got a few um, different options right personally I recommend a code snippets plugin it's just a personal preference you can choose whichever one you want okay so we'll just activate this one in your case you'll install and activate it since I've already got it installed I just need to activate it okay then we'll have this option here which says snippets when we click on it we can see all the different snippets that we've added right so as i said it just makes it easier to manage so let's say for example if you added this particular um, snippet here if you didn't want it um, enabled you can just quickly disable it okay so it just saves going back into your functions at php files finding where you made a change and then going in and deleting it okay and to add a new code all you have to do is just click add new okay then you can add your php code here if it's an html you can add it here can do the style in NJS as well. Okay, and we can choose where we want it to run. So we can set it to run everywhere on our site. Okay, so we can specify where we want this to run on our site, okay? We can give it a description as well, and then we can add tags for just easier management. So once you've added your code here, you can just hit save and activate, okay? All right, so that's the first method. The second method is you can just actually add the code in your themes function that PHP file. So I'm going to navigate to appearance and then I'm going to click on theme file editor. OK, and then to the right here, you just want to make sure that this is the current theme you're using. Right. So they say storefront and that's a theme I'm using. We can choose um, all the other themes that we've got on our WordPress site as well but it makes sense to just add the code to the theme that you're currently using, right? So we just navigate to functions.php. Okay, and then we can scroll down and then you can go ahead and paste in your code here as well. So whenever you paste a new code, it makes sense to add a comment on the code so you know what exactly that particular code's doing. So for example, here we've got a comment here. So to open up our comment, we can do a slash a star, slash and then star and then star and then slash to close it, okay? And then we can just add our comment here so we can say okay and then you can just paste in your code here so it just means the next time you come to your themes function at php file let's say for example you added a code that does x and you've added a comment here you can just search for wherever you've added the comment then you can modify or delete that code so again, I won't save anything. Um, whenever you add in any code to your site as well, I personally recommend just make sure you create a backup of your site, okay? Because things typically go wrong, especially if you're not tech savvy as well. Um, so now the second method would be to use a child theme, right? So a child theme is highly recommended instead of using the um, main theme because whenever the theme author creates an update and, update and you update the theme, all the custom code that you've added will be lost okay so it makes sense to create a child theme to preserve that change okay and to create a child theme i think i'll create a separate video showing you how to create a child theme but a quick hack is just to use a child theme plugin okay so you can use a plugin like this one okay we can search for it so we'll just add that plugin here so we'll just click add new okay and now we'll just search for our plugin install and activate it so now we've activated that plugin we can navigate to the plugin settings okay so we'll navigate to tools and then here it will say child theme wizard okay okay and then from here we can select the theme in which we want to create a child theme for so for example we can see all the themes that we've got installed on our site okay currently i'm using this storefront theme so i want to create a child theme of this um, particular theme okay so we can just add in our name so we can say storefront child theme for example we can add a description, we can add a URL, and then we can add who the author is of this theme, okay? So we'll just say, okay, and then we can just click create child theme. 
and that's been created successfully. So we'll navigate over to appearance and then themes and we should be able to see our child theme, okay? Okay, here we can see the child theme, which we've just created. So now when we activate this, nothing should change, okay? Because basically our child themes inheriting all the settings and customizations of our parent theme. So let's visit our site, okay? And it looks exactly the same. And now when you want to add the code, let's head back over to our dashboard. We can go to theme editor, okay? And then this way we can safely add all our customization within our child theme, okay? Here we go. So we can add our own um, functions here. Okay, so another way to add a custom snippet to your site is just to create a custom plugin. And as it sounds, it is slightly a bit more complicated, okay? So we'll head over to our article here and then, and then we can just follow the steps, okay? So we need to create a folder on our computer. Let's go ahead and do this now, okay? Okay, so we've got our folder here and then now we just need to paste in this code and this will be the name of our plugin, okay? Okay, so in our plugin folder, we wanna add this um, PHP file, okay? So we're gonna open up Notepad. It's ideal if you've got something like um, Notepad++ or um, a visual editor, okay? I've got both, but I think just to keep things simple, I'm just gonna do it in Notepad, okay? Just to show you. Okay, so we'll add our code here and then we'll go ahead and save it, okay? So we'll save it as, and then we'll say, um, a custom plugin. So again, this is the name of the plugin. So we give it a name and then we put .php at the end, okay? So that's super important. And then we're gonna go ahead and save it in our plugin folder, okay? So we'll save it here. Okay, and now we can go ahead and zip our plugin file. So it's added .txt on the end, which I didn't notice. All right, and now we can go ahead and zip this folder and then we'll upload it to our site. So let's navigate back to our dashboard. So let's go plugins and then add new. Then we'll upload our plugin. Now we can activate our plugin. Okay, so that's activated fine. Okay, and here's our plugin, okay? Is we can go to our plugin file editor and then when we wanna add a custom code, we can add it in the plugin that we've created. So if I go ahead and search for um, custom plugin here and then select this option, Okay, then here, similar to our themes function, that PHP file, we can add our code here, okay? And that means whenever the theme author updates the theme or anything like that, we know that our code will still be here and working, okay? And it's a quick and simple way to just keep track of all the changes that we're making on our site. And that's a quick and simple way to add a code snippet to WordPress in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.